Hello everybody. My name is Emmanuel Nguritinga, instructor in Geotechnical Lab at IPR City Gary. You are welcome in this session of in situ density by sand replacement. This test have objective of to determine the density in situ. Now I'm going to show you the equipment to be used for. Here we have the cone filled with the sand. We have the plate. These, those are the names for fixing this plate. You have the spoon for taking the soil into the hole. You have the thrower for taking the sample also. You have chisel and the hammer for digging the hole. We have spatula, which we use for cooking the sample here. We have also the pan, where when we are digging the soil, we put here. This pan, it will pass to cook on cooker. We have also the balance which will help us to record the mass of this one. We have also the ruler, which will help us to measure the height of the hole. We have also the equipment for cooking the soil. And the petrol here for doing it quickly. Now we can start by digging the hole. The plate must be well pressed. The height of a hole must be between 12 and 15 centimeters.
after finishing to dig our hole, we we'll put the sand in the hole. This is sand. must be calibrated first because we use in the calculation its density. Also, we have to know the mass of our cone filled with the sand. And we have to know also the sand because from this valve up to here, there is empty. We have to know the mass of sand to fulfill this part. The mass of the, our cone filled with the sand and liquid, that mass. And also so fast, you have to know the mass of this can, which will pass to cook for moisture content. We have to clean all the soil which are out because all the soil from that hole must be known. Then after digging, we have to measure if the height of our hole is between 12 up to, six, to 15. And yeah, now it's okay. Then we are going to put the sand on this plate. Then you open our valve, the sand comes in our hole, up to where it is top going. That means that the hole is fulfilled with the sand. Then you measure, or where you record the mass of our soil from that hole. And you record it. Then from this material from that hole, you have to take the sample for getting the moisture content, which will help us to get that dry density. Remember that the mass of this can are recorded. They record the total mass with soil and the tar. When the sand is stopped, you have to close our valve, then record the weight of the sand after. Take the mass of the sand after. Then we are going to cook this sample for getting the dry sample, which will help us to determine the dry density. You 
cook the sample up to where you see that there is no water. Then after finishing, you close the gas and you take the sample to the balance for getting the dry mass. And you coat the weight of dry soil with the can. Those are the data needed from the site. Then we are going to put our raw data in the machine for getting the dry density.